I think it's a great idea, all of these shared savings programs. I'm not sure if everyone is aware of, you know, so certain things like bundling or direct to primary care, it's basically the provider saying, I'm going to set my price. It won't be fee for service. It'll be, you know, one rate. And then it's like an all in rate. And so the idea is a fantastic idea. When you look at all the trend surveys, they talk about um, where is the trend coming from for healthcare? And it's coming from price. It's not coming from utilization. So the, the path towards having the shared risk where the provider says, I'm aligned with you, right? I'm not going to just do more services to, to get paid more. I'm going to put my fees at risk. And if I get that right, then, then it's a good thing for both of us. I think that really is the key to control. It also keeps healthcare local. And so, you know, when you think about keeping, you know, um, most of your services within a community um, in New Jersey with certain integrated delivery systems, it's a great idea. So you don't have services that are traveling outside the state. They're all within the area. Healthcare is local. And I think this shared savings path is a good one. Create is a self-insured plan. There is really a focus in terms of going insured. And if you're large enough, go self-insured. There's so many um, financial and philosophical reasons to go self-insured. There's also a very robust stop-loss market. So if you're worried about, you know, you have one employee who's very sick blowing the, you know, claims for everyone, there's ways to protect around that. Um, I think there's greater flexibility with self-insured plans, and, and I quite frankly don't think you're going to see more insured health plans. I think you'll see a continuation of self-insured options in New Jersey. So I think in New Jersey, you need to have 50 eligible employees to be to qualify for stop loss, which is the basis for being self-insured. Brokers are very, very well versed. We have a level funded product that, um, that works really well. Um, and I think it's just a matter of you know running some numbers with your brokers. What is the worst case scenario? And when I look at that worst case scenario, let me take a look at it versus fully insured. Is there still value? Are the are the is, does the return outweigh um, sort of the the risk involved? Um, I would take a look at all the numbers and also look at the future. Think about three years from now, five years from now. You want to provide solid benefits, possibly to your employees at an affordable rate. Where will you be as a business five years from now? Are you going to grow? Are you going to shrink? What are your goals? And being self-insured just gives you more latitude than than being fully insured if you have the size and, and risk tolerance.